Good evening, salutations, my BMB fans. I sat here for a good five minutes struggling to come up with something to say about this episode because this episode literally gave me nothing to work with. It almost seemed like it gave me less to work with. And I really stopped and I thought about it because what really wound up happening? There's a couple of problems with this show. And one of them that is very glaring is that the show feels like it's on constant repeat. Okay? Same conversations that they have one day, same conversations they're going to have another day. Same conversations that they have today was the same conversation that they had, I don't know, last week, last Tuesday, whatever. So, Steffi and Hope wind up having the exact same conversation that they did before. Almost word for word. All Steffi, and you know, I don't understand why Steffi felt the need to sit there and bring in Brooke. Why did you felt the need to sit there and talk about her mother like that? Oh, I want to sit there and make sure that you're not, you're not um, having the same patterns as, as Brooke. You're not sitting there pick, you know, you're not being just like your mother. Um, wow, that insult wasn't necessary. And all this is, is her trying, you know, you know, um, asking her, do you have feelings for Thomas? Do you have feelings for Thomas? And what does Hope do? Deny, 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 deny. She comes up with so many justifications, so many reasons of why I'm loyal to Liam and blah, 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 blah. It, it gets to a point where you're just like, mm-hmm. I mean, because, come on, we all know it's just BS. That's just, that's just on jump. Before Steffi got in there, Hope was sitting there thinking about Liam and Thomas. By the way, I did like the outfit that Steffi was, um, um, that she had on, the whole orange thing. I like that. That was dope. I, I feel like I don't see enough people actually wearing anything orange. But it seemed like it kind of quilled, you know, Hope was able to quill Steffi's feelings on um, her fears about Thomas, about um, her feelings for Thomas, I guess. I don't know. I guess Tom was, I guess Tom was at the end of um, What else <laughs> Liam and Wyatt, same conversation that they had before. You know, here's the thing. There's a lot of people sit there and say, you don't like Liam because he whines, he complains, and stuff like that, right? And in this, in this, in this episode, that is what he's doing. He is whining, he's complaining to his brother about Thomas. Thomas is going to slip up. I can't believe Thomas. Thomas in his old ways. Da 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 da. Right? But here's the thing, though. He's not, well, here's the thing. Actually, now I think about it, it was like, the thing is, he's wrong about it. He's, he's, his, his feelings are valid, but at the, at this point, they're misdirected. Okay. I don't know if that actually makes sense, but his fears, as I'm sitting to think about, it's like, well, there is going to be some cheating going on. It's just not going to be by Thomas. It's not going to be, you know, initiated by Thomas. It's going to be by Hope, you know. So why are you sitting there praising Hope and Hope is this and Hope is that and Hope is the best and yada, 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 yada. He doesn't know or he's going to find out that Hope is going to be the one to break his heart, not Thomas. Thomas, you know what I'm saying? Thomas has been keeping it chill. But, you know, again, it's the same conversation over and over and over again. Um... And Taylor is just annoying. At this point, blank period, that chick is just annoying. I don't really, you know, there's a lot of times where she's not there talking. And she says these cringeworthy lines, like, what did she call it, like, mothering some... I, I forgot the stupid line that she used. When she said it, it was like, Jesus Christ, Taylor. <laughs> it really was not needed in this episode today at all. All she comes over there to do is to praise Thomas. That's it. I believe in you, Thomas. Thomas, you can do it. Thomas, you can win. 
Thomas, I want to sit there and see you succeed in life. That those aren't the words that she said. But that was pretty much what was the sentiments that she had, which, fine, I get it. That's his mom. She's going to be proud and everything. Cool. Great. It really wasn't needed. It wasn't necessary. It didn't go anywhere. That was it. It, it, it didn't go anywhere. You know, I actually struggled and maybe sit there and think, like, you know, should I even do a review on BNB because nothing actually happened. Nothing happened. But, you know, I can figure, I, I figure, you know, I can talk about stuff that I did. Well, I can't even sit there and say I found it interesting, because to be honest, <laughs> I actually found a damn thing interesting in this episode. I felt like there was some stuff I could sit there and talk about. So, um, yeah, that's that's pretty much what I did. Um, I can't really think of anything else. <laughs> um, well, you don't need to watch it. <laughs> I can tell you that right now. You don't need to sit there and watch it. You can just listen to my review, or you can listen to... I think Lanikia still still does these reviews. Um, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. You can you can listen to Lanikia because I think it's the GH reviews that she doesn't do sometimes. I know days she does, but you can you can check out Lanikia Life with Jessica. I think she does it today. I'm not too sure. Um, I, I don't know her schedule or anything like that. Or you could just you know go online and get the synopsis. Either way. It's a good 18, 15 something minutes of your life that you would not be able to get back. So um, I suggest you just, you know, just saying. And it's not the worst. It's not a, ter the thing is, it's not a terrible episode. There's just nothing that can come out of it. Unless you want to actually have something playing in the background music, you know, as, as background, you know. It's unfortunate, but, you know, it is what it is. Anyway, with that being said, I'm going to go. I want to thank you for watching. Stay safe. If I did miss anything, you know we're going to sit there and do it at this point. And if you knew, um, I'm going to be doing a live stream tonight, as I do every night. Tonight, I'm going to be talking about BNB, YNR, Days, GH. We're going to be sitting there cooking. Grab a drink, grab some snacks, and, um, you know, I'll see you at 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific. All right, um, have a good night. I'm not saying have a good night. I, 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 I'm not, first of all, I'm not doing this again. But second of all, I also forgot my intro. But, um, yeah, with that being said, I'm going to go. I want to thank you for watching. Stay safe, and I will see you in the next video and live stream.